Let's get out of here. Been a while since I've done this type of fishing. I'm extremely excited. Look at this beautiful little spot. We are going to go up around the corner, but I want to have a go around here first. It looks too good not to have a cast. So I'll have a couple casts and then we'll move up. But first cast, can we get anything? Just going to slow roll this surface lure. Oh, there we go. You're kidding me. First cast. <laughs> All right, well, that is one way to start the morning. What a good sign. Oh, it's been a while since we've done this type of fishing. I'm super excited for today. Oh, there he goes. Wow. First cast in that little area there. You're kidding. It just looked too good not to, not to have a cast. So I'll get into what we're doing in just a second, but for now, we'll have a few casts around here. It's obviously fish. There we go. <laughs> on the pause that time. We paused that and he just came up and grabbed it. When you pause it, it's a much more accurate target. There we go, first fish already. First fish of the day already. That is amazing. Only a few casts in and we've already got a fish on this surface lure. I'll run through what I'm doing in just a second, but we found some fish already. So we'll let him go. See you, buddy. We'll try one cast up ahead here. See if they're out here too. Right along this edge. <clears throat> they usually sit along the shallows. There's weed beds everywhere along here. So they sit along the shallows and just ambush fish. There we go, another one. You are kidding. That is the next cast and that is another fish. He feels a bit better too. <laughs> How good is that? That is amazing. The little surface lures are going off. It is early morning. The sun is just coming up as you can see. And that right there is a 40 centimeter fish. Look at him. That's a much better fish. That is a much better fish. Here we 30, 35 centimeters. Yes. <laughs> He's a cracker. Second cast, second fish. Definitely a better size class, 30, 35 centimeters. We're definitely onto him this morning and we haven't even done the intro. This is just absolutely outstanding. Let's let him go. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. We'll go back up there again. That was a better sized fish, so we'll see if he's got any buddies. Straight away, you're kidding. <laughs> three in three casts. That is crazy. He's another good one too. Feels so much fun to be getting perched already. Another 20, 25 centimeter fish. Maybe 30, I'm not too sure. So the best thing about here is that you could actually do this land based. You cast off that little point there and surface fish on this side and along this bank. So we could have done all this from the, the land this morning, but I didn't expect them to be around here. Another one. That is six already. Whoa, I wasn't even paying attention. Another one. <laughs> oh, I was just pausing that to pedal around. There we have it, the eighth perch already. This is just crazy. The sun's barely even risen. We've only been out here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And we've got eight fish already. See you, buddy. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. <laughs> Bit of a chaotic start to the morning. We just caught eight estuary perch within the first like half an hour of being out here. So it was a crazy little bite just then, but it's died down a little bit and we haven't caught a fish in a while. So pretty obviously we're gonna be estuary fishing today. It's something which I haven't done in months and months. I've just been doing a lot of saltwater fishing, chasing snapper and squid, but today I really wanna mix it up and I've definitely been missing the lure fishing. I'm hoping that all the action is not gonna be in the first hour because it's been quiet for about 10 minutes now. But we'll get a few more casts out and see if we can pick up a few more perch. I'm super, super keen to get into this style of fishing again. As I said before, I'm going to be targeting some really massive flatheads soon. So if you guys are keen for that, then let me know. Leave a comment below. And yeah, for now, we're going to be targeting estuary perch and brim. So that's going to be our target species today. And we've already found the perch, but we might also run into some brim as well. Uh, let's continue getting a few more casts out. Now, this system we're fishing today is an absolute gem. You can see behind me, there's just nature everywhere, mangroves, weed beds. So it's the perfect habitat and environment for bait fish, which in turn brings in these estuary perch. So there's a lot of small fish in here, but I've actually heard of some giants being caught out of this system. So we're in for a chance for anything today, but so far 
It's a small perch we've been out to play. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing with this cicada. So I'm either casting to the other side of the bank or I'll just cast straight ahead and work the bank. Oh, that was kind of out in the middle, but that catches fish too. It's just massive weed beds everywhere. All I'm doing is just slow rolling this surface cicada. So the slow roll has been doing the best this morning. Also add some pauses every now and again, but most of the time they've been grabbing it just on the slow roll like that. So you can see that that cicada is making a lot of noise on the surface and the perch just love it. Okay, none there. So we'll do one cast along the bank and then we'll move up. That's perfect. Those are the best casts right along the weed lines. Oh, right at my feet. Okay, there's still a couple around. He grabbed that right there. I will actually try a different style of surface lure. You go to a little surface walker sugar pen because that just had a hit, but they don't seem to be committing to it as much. So maybe a different profile will get them biting again. Oh, geez, that thing's a bullet. Oh, straight away. Straight away with the sugar pen. <laughs> First cast. As I said, that little profile change can sometimes encourage them to bite again, just like that. First cast with that little sugar pen, straight back into another fish. That is the ninth one of the morning already. Crazy little surface session. So we'll let him go. See you, buddy. The good thing about this lure is that it casts like an absolute bullet. Like we cast all the way up there, which is where we got that fish. So that's the good thing about it. We pretty much move spots without moving. Straight away again. <laughs> Second cast in that area and another one. It's just a little school sitting on that weed line. Perfect. They went quiet for a little bit and obviously they've moved up. Oh, he's a 35 centimetre fish, easy. Getting a little bit bigger. His tail's a little bit manky, but very healthy fish. Let's get that. Shit. Off you go. Bang. <laughs> they just take off the old perch. Okay, I'm actually starting to see all these little fish go past on my side scan but they're not grabbing surface lures. So I think the surface bite might almost be over. So we'll start throwing around a little soft plastic just for a while and see if we can encourage any more of those fish which aren't hitting surface to eat a soft plastic because the surface bite definitely could be over. But there's only one way to find out. I'll sink that down to the bottom. Just a couple of taps. There we go. First cast. Yep. I was definitely sounding up fish and First cast with the soft plastic. There we are. So now that I know that there's a lot of fish there, I'm gonna back up a bit. Bang. That's the 12th one of the day and the first one on the soft plastic. Only a little fella, but still quality fish. We are in stealth. Get that back out. There we go, on the way down. Another one, not a very big one I don't think, but another one on the soft plastic, the old soft plastic. Sometimes they will literally only hit the soft plastic and so far, that's the case at the moment. See you buddy. That was on the way down, I wasn't even paying attention. Over there. So they've stopped eating that little paddle tailed soft plastic which we were using. So once again, we'll change profiles. We'll try out a curly tail grub. I always do it before I move up. I always change profiles because they can be funny, the old estuary perch. You'll think they'll stop biting and you'll change lures and straight away you'll get a hit. There we go, on the drop. <laughs> straight away on the profile change. That was third cast after we changed from a paddle to a curly tail. Pop that out, curly tail grub, third cast. Probably a 25, 30 centimeter perch. So always change profile before you move up. Classic example. Exhibit A, as you would say. What a beautiful system this is. It's just a little piece of paradise. It's a weekend and I'm the only one out here at the moment, which is a little bit of luck involved, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's been a red hot start to the morning as well. We've got about 10 perch on surface lures and maybe six or seven on soft plastics. So we've had a really hot little session but the bite slowed down. I think it's a uh, slack tight at the moment and that might have something to do with why they've stopped biting. But yeah, they've definitely slowed down. This area looks good though, up ahead of us. 
a lot of you guys might not know this, but I'm actually turning 20 tomorrow. So when you guys are seeing this video, I'll be 20 years old. I'll be out of my teens and uh, pretty much an old man. Nah, but <laughs> a lot of you guys thought I was younger, but I'm actually 20. So there you have it. Birthday tomorrow and catch and perch the day before. Couldn't get any better. Let's keep making our way up the system. Actually, some good weed beds here. Bet you now that I was about to move, we'll get one. There we go. <laughs> right along that weed edge, we knew it. Only a little fella. There we go. They love the weed. They love the weed edges. And that's what's right in front of us, just a big weed edge. So I was thinking that if I can get a cast there and avoid the weed, they'll definitely hit it. And they did. There we go, another one. Ooh, ooh, look at the head shakes on that. Big head shakes. That could be a brim. Massive head shakes. I think it's a brim. It is. It's a little brim. We'll net that. There we go. We got a brim. <laughs> so we've caught about 18 perch, I think. And this is the first brim which we've caught. They're very, very rare in the system, but they are in here. He's only a little fella, though. As soon as I hooked him, I could tell that he was a little bit different just because of the head shakes. And bang, it's a little brim, a little purple brim bow. He's probably only 25, 27 centimetres. But still, it's nice to get a little bit of a change. So 18 perch and one brim. Nice little fella. See ya, buddy. The brim are a lot more uncommon in here than the perch, but they definitely are in here. And there's some absolute monsters as well. I think the biggest brim I've caught out of here is actually my personal best. And it was like 44 centimetres, I think. So he was a brute, but that one was only a little fella. He's destroyed my leader. These type of areas today have been really good. So as you can see, there's seaweed on the surface and then it drops off. So really steep banks next to the seaweed. And the fish pretty much just hunt right along these banks. See, like that, that was a perch. <laughs> just like that. That was first cast there and he grabbed it on the way down. That was a perch too. There we go, right in the middle of this little creek. Oh, it's a big flathead. It's a big flathead. Look at that. That's a very good flatty. What is he doing in here? This random little area, I thought he was a perch. It's a solid flathead. Never caught a flatty in here. Seriously, I don't know what this guy is doing up here. It's probably two kilometers up this system and the water is super, super brown. It's got a lot of fresh in it. So I don't even know how he's surviving, to be honest. Look at that, a flathead. <laughs> that is so cool. Not expecting that at all, but I'll take it. Let's let him go. See ya, buddy. He's probably 30 to 35 centimeters. He's not a bad fish. There he goes. That is just nuts. I just love my light tackle soft plastics fishing. It's just so much fun. This is the little lure which did it, the curly tail grub. Pretty much catches anything in the ocean, this thing. I'll tell you one thing, I actually forgot my life jacket. I only just realized just then, I was like, where's my life jacket? I forgot it, I think I left it in the car. But um, yeah, you guys know I always wear my life jacket no matter where I go, but I don't know, today I just completely forgot about it. My apologies, but in this system, I can literally stand up in the whole thing, like at the moment. It's only 0.9 of a meter deep, and that's pretty much the depth throughout the whole system. So it's a very shallow system. I can stand up the whole way, but I still shouldn't have forgot it. And I know, I know someone's going to go off at me for forgetting it, but um, <laughs> I almost hit myself in the face. Yeah, I know someone's going to go off at me for forgetting it, but I just completely forgot. Usually, even in these estuaries, I always remember my life jacket, but not today. <sighs> Well, just like we thought it might, it has completely shut down. We haven't got another fish in probably an hour and a half, and I don't think we're going to get any anytime soon. But either way, it was a very productive session. We ended up with 20 perch, one brim, one flathead, and a couple of other things as well. And it just felt good today to get back into lure fishing. I haven't done it in a very long time, and I do enjoy it a lot. But yeah, it felt good to switch it up. And if you guys want to see more lure fishing videos, then let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.